Can an F1 car survive the brutal demands of a rally race? With an engine built for speed, tires made for tarmac, and suspension tuned for precision, it sounds impossible. But what if we told you the challenge isn't as straightforward as it seems? Discover the shocking truth about how an F1 car would fare on the roughest rally terrains, and why it's almost certain to fail. Don't miss this adrenaline, pumping comparison, engine durability. When it comes to the engine of an F1 car, it's built for speed on smooth, tarmac surfaces, not the rough, unpredictable terrain of a rally race. An F1 engine is designed to perform at extremely high revs with a focus on delivering quick bursts of power. However, rally races demand a different kind of engine endurance. The rough terrain mud, rocks, and jumps put a significant strain on the engine. Unlike F1 tracks, rally stages require the car to tackle a wide range of conditions, from high-speed gravel roads to low-traction dirt paths. F1 engines, which are finely tuned for precision and peak performance, would struggle with the constant stress of rally conditions. The lack of torque at low speeds and the frequent gear shifts would be difficult for an F1 engine to manage without frequent overheating or breakdowns. Moreover, the high impact from jumps and uneven surfaces could potentially damage the engine components or lead to overheating. In rally racing, reliability and durability take precedence over sheer speed. While F1 engines are built to last a few intense laps at high speeds, rally engines are designed to endure hours of rugged conditions. Therefore, an F1 car's engine would face major challenges, making it unlikely to survive the demands of a rally race. Suspension strain The suspension system of an F1 car is engineered for smooth, level tracks that allow for high, speed cornering and minimal vertical movement. It's designed to keep the car as close to the ground as possible, maximizing aerodynamic efficiency and stability on a flat, predictable surface. However, rally races involve a completely different set of challenges. The suspension in rally cars must absorb extreme forces from bumpy, rocky, and uneven terrains, providing enough travel to withstand jumps, sharp impacts, and constant vibrations. An F1 car's suspension, while incredibly advanced, simply isn't built for the extreme conditions of a rally. The shocks are tuned to handle smooth asphalt, rather than rugged surfaces like dirt or gravel. The constant vertical movement of a rally race would cause the F1 car's suspension to struggle, likely leading to premature wear fatigue or even failure. F1 cars also have very stiff suspension systems, which allow them to maintain stability at high speeds, but make them prone to braking or becoming unbalanced on rough terrains. The impacts from rally jumps and rough roads would likely cause serious damage to the F1 suspension, making it impossible for the car to endure an entire rally race without significant repair or failure. Tire performance tires are one of the most crucial elements in determining whether an F1 car could survive a rally race. F1 tires are designed for optimum grip on smooth tarmac, with soft rubber compounds that provide excellent traction at high speeds. However, rally racing is a completely different ball game. Rally tires are specifically made to handle diverse terrains, gravel, mud, snow, and asphalt, requiring a much sturdier build to survive the rough conditions. An F1 car's tires, while grippy and fast on smooth roads, would struggle to cope with the varied and unpredictable surfaces of a rally. Their soft compounds would wear down quickly on gravel or dirt, leading to decreased performance and possible punctures. Rally tires, on the other hand, are designed to have more durability and provide better grip on slippery or uneven surfaces. The lack of appropriate tread patterns on F1 tires would also contribute to poor performance, especially on wet or muddy stages. Additionally, the pressure exerted on the tires in rally conditions is far higher than what an F1 tire is engineered to withstand. The constant impact from rocks, bumps, and jumps would cause tire degradation and could potentially lead to tire failure during a rally race. Aerodynamics Aerodynamics play a vital role in F1 car performance, where the focus is on minimizing drag while maximizing downforce to stay glued to the smooth tarmac at high speeds. The sleek, low, to the ground design of an F1 car, complete with large front and rear wings, creates a significant amount of downforce. This allows the car to maintain stability in high, speed corners and precise control on a track. However, rally races present a challenge for aerodynamics, as the course conditions are vastly different. Rally stages are characterized by rough, uneven terrain, and unpredictable weather conditions, including mud, snow, and gravel. The low ground clearance and extreme aerodynamic components of an F1 car would be a major disadvantage. The car would likely scrape or even get stuck on the uneven surfaces, as its aerodynamics are optimized for speed, not for handling rugged terrains. 
the large front and rear wings, which provide essential downforce in F1 racing, would be more of a hindrance on rally courses. These components would be prone to damage from rocks, branches, and jumps, reducing the car's effectiveness. Additionally, the high-speed aerodynamic setup of an F1 car would be less useful in a rally race, where the speeds are lower and the terrain is constantly changing. The car's low profile and downforce, heavy design would cause it to struggle with the variable conditions of a rally stage, potentially leading to poor handling, excessive damage, or loss of control in more technical sections. Chassis strength The chassis of an F1 car is designed to withstand the incredible forces generated during high-speed racing on smooth, flat tracks. Made from lightweight yet strong materials like carbon fiber, the chassis offers maximum rigidity and safety, while providing the driver with an ultra-responsive experience. However, rally races put a very different set of stresses on a car's chassis. The rough, uneven terrain of rally courses, complete with jumps, rocks, and unpredictable surfaces, requires a chassis that can absorb shock and flex in response to impacts. An F1 car's chassis, while incredibly strong, is not built to handle the kind of stress imposed by the unpredictable nature of rally racing. The constant bumps, shocks from jumps, and heavy impacts from rocks or uneven surfaces would likely exceed the chassis' ability to absorb these forces. Rally cars are specifically designed to be more flexible, with reinforced structures that can withstand impacts without cracking or breaking. On the other hand, an F1 chassis, which is optimized for rigidity and aerodynamics, would likely suffer from fatigue or even damage over the course of a rally race. Driver skills While the skills of an F1 driver are unparalleled on a smooth, high-speed circuit, rally racing demands a completely different set of driving techniques. Rally drivers must adapt quickly to constantly changing terrain, from gravel to snow, mud, and rocks. Their skill lies in managing unpredictable surfaces, executing precise braking techniques on slippery roads, and navigating tight turns with careful throttle control. F1 drivers, though incredibly skilled at managing the precise, fast, paced environment of a racetrack, are not accustomed to the intense demands of rally driving. The finesse needed to control a car on a loose surface, tackle jumps, and avoid damage from obstacles is something F1 drivers don't practice regularly. Rally drivers often rely on co-drivers to help them navigate, using pace notes to anticipate the terrain ahead. This collaborative skill set is key in rallying but isn't something F1 drivers would have been trained for. Thanks for watching! If you're fascinated by the ultimate test between speed and durability, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more thrilling content. Do you think an F1 car could ever survive a rally? Or do you believe its limitations are too great for such a challenge? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget, our next video dives into the shocking story of why the TVR Cerberus Speed 12 was banned for public use. You won't want to miss it. Coming soon.